Okay, so here we go. Here we go. This is a normal day at the ranch. At the egg ranch, that is. Oh my so goodness. we got a reticulated python. She's got a whole bunch of eggs. And the only bummer is this snake's never nice. Now, everybody wonders why I take the eggs away because I take the eggs away because it's real simple. In the wild, they don't hatch, and we're not in the wild, and I want them all to hatch. So I, what I gotta do is figure out a way to get them to hatch. And the best way I've learned over the last 30 years is to take my time, try not to get bit. She's already struck at me once. Try, try to take her eggs away, and then I put them in an incubator right over here. Come on, girl, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, come on, girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So this is a mochino, and we bred her to make some really cool snakes. Oh, look at this, I think I'm gonna do my typical steal the whole thing, steal the whole thing. Everybody wonders, uh oh, uh oh. See now, she won't, she shouldn't bite her own eggs. So, oh, oh. oh. there we go. So, what is oh. this all about? You wonder what this is all about? Well, I'll tell you what this is all about. She's gonna bite me anyway from over there. A surprise attack. So the reason why the eggs stick together, but these eggs are python eggs, they're not chicken eggs. Chicken eggs roll around. They're made to roll around. Matter of fact, the mom can lay the eggs, leave, come back, incubate them all at once, rotate them, and they all do great. But snake eggs, they can't rotate, they can't get cold at any time. If they get cold, they die. If they get too hot, they die. If they get rolled over, they die. So here this mass in the wild stays together to keep the temperature. So we're not in the wild. So what we do to try to help it is we put them in an incubator, which stays, the whole mass of the incubator stays at the right temperature. Now, unfortunately, I gotta figure out a way to pull these things apart. She's still thinking about getting me, I can tell. I still gotta grab those last couple eggs. Come on, girl. You guys guess how many eggs that are. is why I try to figure out how to get this away. <laughs> Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Nah, I'm not gonna take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. So, you guys just want me to get bit. I'll get those last two eggs at the end of the video. Because you guys just want to see me get bit anyway. I don't want to bleed on them. I've done that enough times. <laughs> so, the eggs, the reason why I take the eggs away is because I want the temperature to stay even consistently. The reason why I pull them and tip myself and I'm, I'm taking these eggs right now. Sometimes I used to ride on top of them, but I'm very good at putting them upright. So, as long as I pull them up upright and they stay upright, they'll hatch. And so they, but the reason why they're stuck together is in nature, if they roll around, they die. So, if, so let's say a big tiger shows up to try to steal an egg and the mom is able to fight it off, the eggs will survive because while she's striking at the tiger to run it off or whatever it is, wild dog or whatever tries to take away the, the eggs, that they'll, now the funny part is all snakes do not do, take care of their eggs. Most snakes lay their eggs and run off with them. And uh, just, I mean, run off and leave them there all by themselves. She still wants me. I think I'm gonna have a hard time getting those eggs. We'll have to see who's, who's thinking I'm gonna get bit by the end of this video. Whoop, <laughs> Tim's, Tim's thinking I am. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you from getting bit. <laughs> Come on. Come on, girl. So, I'm not trying to taunt her, but I am trying, I am, I have to, in order for me to save these babies, I have to do two things. I'm gonna have to incubate these eggs, and then I'm gonna have to face her for those last couple, because I don't want to lose any of them. And facing her is just something I'm used to doing. Now this egg, this egg was flipped over at one point, but it probably before the embryo actually mounted inside the egg. So as soon as the embryo starts to develop it, it'll float up to the top. And that's what that, and so this one has been flipped over. Now, we get infertile eggs. You guys wanna see what's inside that? That's an infertile egg. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what's inside of that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna figure out a way to take this one's eggs. Come on. I gotta ta taunt her my hand over there. Woohoo, baby! Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. So. Who's making the bet? Is it on her or me? Comment below. I, I say I'm not, I think I'm gonna pull it off. That's what I think. I shouldn't have said that. Huh? Nope. Pride comes before a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. Come on. Here we go. Come on, <laughs> snake. She's a smart one. Sometimes they're they're focused now. See, so I have a couple cheating ways. So I got, because I can use her as a block, but I'm just close enough where she can almost reach my face. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I got it guys. Guess how many eggs there are. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna count them up real quick. These take 84 days to hatch. The mother would normally wrap around them for the full, whole 84 days and she would, when they got ready to hatch, she would loosen up, the babies would hatch and they'd all go their own way. So the babies never get taken care of by her any more than the actual incubation period. So we got two, four, six, eight. Did you guys guess already? 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 31 eggs. Every single one's fertile except the one that I promised you I'd show you the inside of it. So the infertile egg is just what it sounds like, an infertile egg. So you can tell it's infertile, it's got a little nipple on each end. And then the other part is, it's full of this really thick gooey stuff. And it is like super glue. It's like pudding. It's, yeah, but it's like, when it dries, it's like hard. And I guarantee you it would glue anything together. And everybody always wonders what's on the outside of the egg. Maybe one of you can Google and figure out what makes a snake egg stick together, because I've never figured it out. But it's pretty amazing, because the egg actually breathes, yet it's glued together, because most glues would make it airtight. Obviously, the snake has to, go, has to breathe through this membrane. There's a membrane inside, and then she's still going to try to get me in. She, okay, let's try to put her away, because I don't want to waste your guys's, waste your guys's, oh man. Huh? Oh, oh! <laughs> I got distracted by my videographer and almost got killed. <laughs> but you guys love that. Look at this. So what the idea is that what we're going to be working towards, not in this particular clutch, we're going to be working towards this snake in that color. And this clutch is going to make a snake like this. So meanwhile, the whole time we're making crazy morphs. There's a lot more coming. And you know what? I'm going to pull this female away and you guys can comment while I'm taking her away and see if I'm going to pull it off or not. I don't know. That was pretty close. Look at this. I'm now I'm like, now I'm handcuffed, so I can't get her anyway. <laughs> Come on, girl. Here we go. I gotta make this happen. Come on. Come on. This is actually the. I, somebody's got to put her away, so I might as well do it while you guys are recording. Oh. Oh. oh she is so wanting my face. Oh. Look at that. So I'm gonna put her back in her in her temporary egg laying cage. It's a little bit more confined. They actually like confined, so what we do is we put them in a smaller enclosure when they're actually in with the eggs, because that way all the eggs, all the eggs, the temperature's correct, everything's right, and she doesn't have to look for it, and she doesn't have to feel like something's gonna attack her. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you comment, tag a few friends, and I appreciate you following. Take care, guys.